What sort of woman are you looking for in New York City? Um, probably a professional. She has to be intelligent. Of course, there's the attraction factor as well. I think we've got to have a lot in common. I have to say, it was one of the most fun things that I've done since I've been a Marie Claire. to scour America for the best men. And we also thought there must be physical places where they gather. The biggest question we get over and over again is, where can I find them? So we decided to pinpoint exactly where the guys are. What are the guys like in New York that you tend to go out with? Um, I think it depends. I go out downtown. I've kind of been liking that a lot. There's a place called Ulysses. That's one of the places that we have listed in the magazine as one of the great places to go and meet men. Where do you and your guys tend to hang out? Um, yeah, I mean, it's mostly either the East Village or the West Village. What sort of woman are you looking for in New York City? Um, probably a professional. She has to be intelligent. Of course, there's the attraction factor as well. I think we've got to have a lot in common. We did tremendous amounts of research to find sort of the, the best places, you know, to locate cool guys, but it's also a little tongue-in-cheek. It's that, that sense of, you know, having to conduct a nationwide search. Would you recommend women to come here and meet a guy? Yes. <laughs> like men in Dallas are very different to men in Chicago, very different to men in Seattle. Seattle incidentally came out top with the best kind of guys. They've got great earning power, they're good looking, they're concerned about keeping fit. Denver has 300 days of sunshine annually, which is more, pretty much more than any other city on the list. And we're not talking like muggy, humid Miami weather. We're talking pristine, cool, crisp, sunny days. It's a beautiful city. Everybody there told us that. It's also got that outdoor scene and also a big, uh, big business center. So you have that perfect combination. We wanted to get that very detailed, very sort of diamond heart information. Maybe you're trying to figure out what city to live in or maybe you just want to read it to see where your city falls in the top 20. It's got New York, LA, Portland, Oregon's on the list, Miami. So all the hot spots around the country are ranked. Columbus. I, I want to move to Columbus. We've been talking around the office about how all the single girls need to move to Chicago or Columbus because that's really where all the, the, the handsome boys are. One of our, our reporter gets off the plane and she's like, I got off the plane and immediately I just see these great looking guys everywhere. We have some big cities in there, but what's interesting is that actually the cities are those smart new urban cities that are really vibrant right now. There are so many venues in New York to meet men. For example, the dog run at Washington Square Park is apparently like a great place to meet sort of young professional men who are taking their um, their German Shepherds or Labradors or what have you. I think the dog park is a great place to uh, meet women. A lot of guys in the big dog park, so you know, yeah, actually, it's a good it's a good place. Get a dog. The boat basin, the happy happy hour at the boat basin, which is right along the Hudson River. It's a really pretty scene. It attracts that whole post banking, finance, accounting crowd. So you're going to get a lot of guys with the loosened up ties, ready to ready to roll. Yeah, I guess there's a lot of single people here, and get to meet people. It's got a good vibe right by the water. For someone that's looking to meet men in New York, what sort of tips would you give some of our readers? I would say not to be too tied down to one type of guy or to be so serious and gung-ho about finding one guy one night. Trivia night. Trivia night at Crocodile Lounge where they serve free pizza. Would you say it's a good place to meet men? I haven't met Mr. Wonderful here, but I definitely see some cute guys walking around out there, so you never know. Um, Ulysses Bar in the financial district has this great cobblestone backyard. A lot of the people that work here come to hang out. But it's tucked away enough that you have to live here to know where it is. There are nine million people in this city. One of them is for you. Just be yourself, be confident, be friendly, and things will eventually work out. The guys are so great and they're so entertaining. And when we got the photos in, I was just like, I love them all. Like, they're so adorable. I have to say, it was one of the most fun things that I've done since I've been a Marie Claire. I think one forgets America is this massive continent that has so many different people and so many different jobs and people have different priorities according to the, the cities that they're living in. We all know a little bit of underarm stubble can feel like a lot of underarm stubble. But what if we could put an end to that prickly feeling between shaves? 
Dove Visibly Smooth Antiperspirant containing pro complex with natural extracts makes hair look and feel less noticeable over time so you feel dry all day and beautifully stubble-free for longer. New Dove Visibly Smooth. I think for the working women, the fastest way to get dressed and look great and look sophisticated and well-groomed is to buy a dress or 10 of them. Add a belt, um, there's so many options, great costume jewelry, necklaces. Never put a hanging earring if you're wearing a long necklace. Um, just have a little something at the ear. I think always looks great and pops. Um, I'm very into cocktail rings.